energy types. This podcast is going to help you understand the difference, or sorry, the similarities between energy and what it has to do with interactions. So this is nothing new. This is, again, just kind of helping you to repeat and kind of connect the two things that we've been talking about a lot with these last two chapters. We're going to start with interaction. So the first question on your handout that you picked up to be able to, to write down these notes on is the what are interactions? And as you see, it's just popped up here. Interactions is nothing new. It's when objects interact. They affect each other. Specifically, we look at the source that's transferring its energy to the receiver. So we're moving that energy from one object to the next. The types we learned about, what are the six types we learned about, are in our foldable from chapter one. So if you can't remember those just off the top of your head, I'm going to ask you to go back and take a look at that list. The main type of interaction we're going to work with in this chapter is mechanical interactions. So now what does that have to do with energy? Well, energy is the ability to get work done. So I got to have energy to have any kind of an interaction. If I want to transfer energy, I got to interact. So we're going to learn about five types of energies in the next few slides that we have. And few is really five slides. What I really want you to remember, and that's your next question, it says, what should I remember about the connection between energy and interaction is that we need energy to have interactions. And that energy must be transferred from one object to the next. And that's going to cause our motion to change. We're going to either increase in speed or we're going to decrease in speed. So here you see pop up is the first type of energy. And you can see there's this nice little data table where you're going to fill in the definition, the key characteristics, and then a little visual aid, a little picture to help you remember. So mechanical energy has anything to do with an object that is moving over a distance. And our visual aid is going to be like a handshake. So I'm pushing and pulling and I'm getting that object to move over a distance. The next type of energy is chemical energy. And just like that word says, it's anything to do with chemicals. And our visual aid is our beakers. And now chemical energy is also involved in all of our body uh, movements. So our food that we eat is made out of chemicals, is made out of carbon and oxygen and all those nice sugars that we eat. And then our body breaks those chemicals down to give us energy. So that is a chemical energy. The next type of energy is thermal energy. Thermal energy has anything to do with differing temperatures. So I have as a visual aid two different thermometers, one in sunshine and one in nighttime. So they would have two different temperatures. And thermal energy uh, has to do with heat and with cold. Light energy has to do with anything to do with light. So that's any kind of light, whether it be from a flashlight, a candle, uh, your eye touch, your candle, whatever it may be. And the visual aid I have is either a light bulb or a sun. And the last type of energy that we're going to learn about is electrical energy. And the key characteristic of that is that it's energy that has anything to do with electricity. And of course, my visual aid is a plug-in, or if you wanted to draw a lightning bolt, you could do that. Okay, those are the five types of energy. And now the ways that we use those five types of energy are either we're going to store that energy and use it to move something later, and we call that potential energy. And that's under question number seven on your handout down there. What are the two ways energy is used? So again, store it. We call that potential energy. And that means I'm not going to move anything right now. I'm just going to have that energy ready and available for me to use it later. 
And the second type of way of to use energy is kinetic energy. And that's if I am moving and using that energy right now to get something done, I use kinetic energy or use energy in the way of kinetic energy. Okay, that's it for the notes for today. If you need to, I'll have this video on my science channel on YouTube and you could rewatch it and get those answers again and again. Thanks for watching.